Emmanuel Macron won a clear second-round election over Marine Le Pen, becoming the first French head of state in modern history to win re-election while retaining executive authority. The 44-year-old Macron prevailed with 58.5% versus Le Pen's 41.5% of the vote after an aggressive second-round campaign in which he described the leader of the National Union of the far right as a danger to democracy and European security. During her third run for president, Le Pen's result was lower than expected after she came in second place in the first round on April 10. However, in a sign of the growing strength of the right, it was eight points higher than her duel with Macron in 2017. This is the highest score ever achieved by the nationalist movement, which was founded by her father, Jean-Marie Le Pen, in 1972 and which she inherited in 2011. While Macron was celebrating his victory in front of a cheering crowd of thousands on the Champ de Mars near the Eiffel Tower, major politicians and European leaders were expressing relief at the rejection of a candidate who promised an authoritarian government through a referendum at home, unrest in Europe and an alliance with Russia. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky congratulated Macron on his victory and said they were all moving together to win and unite Europe. Boris Johnson, whose relationship with Macron is strained, quickly tweeted his congratulations, adding, France is one of our closest and most important allies. Olaf Scholz, the German Chancellor, congratulated the fiercely pro-EU president, adding, your voters have also expressed a strong commitment to Europe today. Macron admitted his obligation to voters, mostly leftists, who heeded calls to support him in the second round to block Le Pen's election. Many of our compatriots voted for me not because they supported my ideas, but to block the far-right ideas, he said. I want to thank them, and I know I have a duty to them in the years to come. Macron also acknowledged the nation's split after an election in which 60% of voters backed anti-system radical right and left candidates in the first round. He promised to respond to the anger and division that led many to vote for the extreme right. He added, It will be my responsibility and the responsibility of those who surround me. Le Pen, who is 53, attributed her defeat to the way voters rallied to block her and promised revenge in the mid-June parliamentary elections, which will be vital in determining whether Macron has full power to govern. Le Pen said the election result was an outstanding victory for her.